I'm going to show how to commit to GitLab the changes changes in the code that I want to, to do, small changes from the MySQL project and Python in Docker that I showed yesterday. So here I am in my project and I'm gonna change very simple things so you see how it works uh, committing from uh, the web ID tool from GitLab. So I'm gonna modify this file so then I select open in web ID I'm gonna remove those redundant parentheses and I'm gonna remove this unnecessary space we leave two lines between functions following the standards but we leave only one line between methods. So, okay, uh, we are done now. Um, so, I'm gonna do create commit. I can see here the changes that are from one side and from the other. And I'm gonna add a message. An extra line. I'm not gonna create a new branch for this. I'm gonna commit directly to the main branch in this case. Commit. And the change have been committed. Now my code is up to date. So as you can see Now the file is updated. In Docker run MySQL, I have this uh, comment that has a typo. So you see, we can also edit this file directly, or we can proceed in the most um, powerful way to commit several files. If I do like this, we are using the old, the previous interface, which is much more simpler. Um, so, okay. Okay. Commit changes. And here we go. So another thing, as I mentioned before, another thing that we may want to, if we work with teams for sure. So I'm gonna go to the web ID as before. Net tools. And let's go on and add um, links, the text uh, web browser, which is very handy. Uh, okay, so let's go for it. Create a commit. And links. Okay, so I'm going to create a new branch. Um, for this, normally I will add, if I had like a ticket number, I will add a ticket number for this, if I'm working on a, on a team, uh, probably related to the, to the system where we track the, the projects. In this case, I will call, for example, um, UPD seven seven five three. We are. I'm I'm inventing one nomenclature, so I will I will add here my user ID, so we know um, which branch belong 
to which people. And uh, here I can add the like uh, the human readable um, explanation of what this branch is for. Addition of new package to Docker image. And then I start a merge request. So now I'm, I'm generating a new merge request that another colleague uh, can, can approve. So and we can add an explanation or description on what we do. Then we can add a reviewer if we had more than more people in our, in our team. We can have approval rules in order to, to set what's necessary in order to get this, um, this pull request approved. And we can have also labels, some things that may help us to organize our, our tasks. Um, and I will mark the delete source branch when merge request is accepted and I'm upgrading the, the new merge request. So I'm working on in this pro demo project, but if I had uh, more colleagues, um, a new colleague will come here, and then they will be able to merge. I will also be able to assign to other people on the team or to suggest reviewers. In this case, I'm going to do everything myself, so I'm going to just merge. It's checking that there is no, no conflicts um, and basically everything went well. So here we are now. It's merged. So now if I go to the code and I examine the, the Docker file, we'll see that the new packets have been, have been added. 